All right, folks, we got a show for you today. You got go. my buddy Luch. We're out uh, on Lake Champlain, someplace in the middle. And uh, we got a weed bed in front of us and a 10 to 15 foot drop off is around us. And we're going to set up for some pike and some walleyes and see what happens. The sun's just coming up. So, best day yet. 28 degrees. Four sun. mile an hour winds. I know, no wind, and the sun is going to shine. So, a lot different than the last day. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's a nice one. They run. They run. <laughs> Lucci in action. Oh, it is a five pounder. Four five. Look at, look at him go. Notice how he's playing him. Good job. Good job, Luke. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's another. There he is, right there. I can see him. There he goes again. Good play and action. Run a few times. Okay, for all you guys that are just starting, um, this one, this is pike fishing, <laughs> and. Uh, Pull your tip up out of the hole. Make sure you set it down so you can get some line off of it. And I, if it isn't moving, I don't set the hook. But as soon as it starts pulling away from me, I've got number two trebles, red, blood red with a blood red leader. And that's my go-to thing for northerns. There he goes. Now he's starting to move away from me. Watch the line. There he goes. As soon as he makes it. There. Now this one isn't as big as that last one that I just lost. But see how I'm laying the line out? Make sure it stays kind of straight. It's good to let these pike run. The bigger they are, the more runs they'll take. This feels like about a 24 incher. And he'll run out. When I get him close to the hole, don't try to rip him out, you know, right off the bat. Just let him take a couple runs. The bigger they are, the more runs they'll take. This one's about to take off, I think. There he goes. There he goes. Um, you get a 15, 20 pound pike, he'll run four or five times, but this is a little guy. This is a little guy. Black ice is some of the safest ice there is. And it's constantly cracking as it's making ice. Today, um, we'll maybe hear it booming a little bit, but these cracks, you can, tell, you can tell how deep the ice is very easily by the, the, the depth of the crack. And these are about eight inch cracks, but very, even though I'm walking on a crack, this is very safe. These, this however, is a fault uh, or pressure ridge. Here comes a crack now. This is a pressure ridge. These are a little more dangerous, especially with heavier things like ATVs. It's gonna be safe for me to walk across that today, but Good chance the ice is spinning right in that spot. I didn't talk about the button. Put the button on the line so we know what depth to set the minnow at after we set it. And that's the easiest way to keep track of where you put the minnow back down. You always want it about 18 to 24 inches off bottom. And there's a minnow with no big teeth marks on it. So that tells me it's a perch. So we'll come back over here, maybe in with a jig rod. All right, 
we're on. We got another one that took half the spool out and stopped running. So we'll see. He's still there. He dropped it. Nothing yet. Swimming back. Oh yeah, he's swimming back towards Paul. There he is. Okay, he's still there. But we do have contact. Well, maybe he's still coming back towards the hole. Or else he just spit it out right there. Had a little bit of a thump for a second there. Maybe it was just caught, caught on some weeds. Can start winding. Oh, yep. Start winding her up. Okay. All right. He's still maybe swimming right back towards me, but every now and then I feel a thump, but it might be just the. You know, dragging on the walk bottom. Yeah. It might. Be, oh no, that was a hit. Yeah, that, he's there. He's, he's, that was definitely a hit that time. Teasing you. He's coming. He keeps coming towards the hole. I guess. I'm not pulling it. Hey, it's, Slack, 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 and then every sudden, every now and then a tug. But could be wrong. He definitely took out a lot of line. He's right below the hole, and he's still on. I don't believe it. He's going to go past the hole now, away from me. And I'm gonna set the hook. He's got him. <laughs> that, that's a rare fish. He swam all the way back to the hole. It doesn't act like a northern though. But it is. It's a, about a 24 incher. Awesome. And that was his first run. We'll see if he makes another one. But, yeah, that doesn't happen very often. They swim 30 feet out and then 30 no, feet right back, right to, back the to the hole. But this one did. Like I said, he's probably a, maybe a four pounder, three, four pounder. There's his second run. Run in up maybe 12 feet of line at a time. This one, we're going to make it to the live well, Luch. a boy. For our sorting. If we get him up through the ice here, we'll see. Don't need the gaff though, do you? No. No, he's, I think he's going to come up through this. So, here's my technique. One finger just in the bottom of the gills and slide him up onto the hole. Don't lift him with the hook or the string. And that's just what I thought it was, right? 23, 24? Yeah. Here you go. We got a fish on. Pat's got it going. Took out a bunch of line. Ran twice. Oh, he's about a well, the biggest of the day, maybe five, six, five pounder. I'm guessing. Getting bigger. This is, this is his maybe third run. That's a hole. Now he. Ooh, yeah, he is a five pounder. <laughs> oh this, no! Yes, I still got him. <laughs> and he told us to don't lose the big ones. Under the gill technique works here. No, maybe 12 pounds. Okay, open up. No, he's gonna go one more time. He wants to go one more time. He ain't ready. Patience is a virtue. Let him keep your rod tip up. Keep the rod tip up. Let him run out of all his energy. Maybe. Maybe four pounds. Okay, now open up your gills. Come on, open up. There we go. Stick your nice. finger in there. And Coming right back at you. Kind of swimming back and forth. Plugs right there.
Something there. Who is it? Fucker. Oh, it's a northern. Yeah. I'm running with it. It's funny how they come. They're all yeah, coming right back to the hole. I know. It's like they want to get out of the water. There. Hold in there. Oh, there. Another one. Not a big one, but another one. It's another little racer. <laughs> another little racer. This is the biggest fish of the day, and I'm gonna try to film it and get him in by myself. He's circling the hole here. He hasn't taken any big runs yet, but he's gonna, I'm sure. Oh, what is he? Probably a... Five pounder, twenty-eight inches. All right, about eleven o'clock now, or no, probably quarter twelve. We've uh, <clears throat> um, probably caught twelve, thirteen northerns and lost five or six others all before noon. And I don't know how many of you people um, follow the moon, but we're the day before the new moon here. And um, it is just what it's supposed to be. We've had flags ever since daybreak, steady all day long, and expect to, it'll keep up all day here. Got him? Yep. Oh, that's still there. Keeps coming at the hole. Oh, it's running. That's a good sign. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got a little stick to him, doesn't he? Yeah. He might have to sort one of them. This is not a northern, but a cross. We'll let this guy go, he's pretty small. There's a good one, come on. February 8th, February 8th, the day before the new moon. Flag steady from daylight to well, 12. Yeah. Tire grayed out, barely had time to eat. And 40 degrees and pure sun and no wind. That is perfect, but we got about 18 to 20 fish and lost well, some of the bigger ones. But we got our limit. That's right, time to go home. <laughs> Let me get one picture with this. Yep. Just stay right there. 